hospital. I got my own room and everything. But here I am. I think I came out in like a team pose. So this guy, this is like this guy at the hospital. Yeah, this is the guy that I ate. I ate him. So apparently, how it goes is um, each district has their own de denizens or citizens, whatever. You choose whatever or whomever it is that you wanna like eat, save. Like this guy has fatigue. I can I can cure him with a treatment. I just need to unlock or gather the ingredients for said treatment. Um, normally the pillars are just like the the important like the important one. Yeah. And and. Of course, the more hints that you lock, the more blood quality you'll get, which is like a lot of XP. You'll get a lot more XP if you drain the blood from the victims rather than just um, save them, really. It's all a matter of choice. You know, they try to give that to you there. And you can. there's a mesmerized level that you can just like make somebody your little puppet, follow you around and stuff. That's how I took out this guy. See, my mesmerized level is 1. I've talked to people that are as high as six, for example. It'll show you right here with Dr. Edgar Swansea. Um, I think that might be the highest one because of how important Swansea is to the story. <laughs> At least I'd like to believe that he's important. And then you have other people. And local investigations. Okay, you can do that. Alright, so I basically have this tract. Bring back the wall to its owner. Alright, so, missing quest, citizen quest. So let me, it's tracked. Right. I hope so. Um, well, I gotta make sure that serums, I don't have serums, I can make the serums, I don't have blood. Right. I'm gonna try to get these ingredients. Oh yeah, and new duds. You know, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like Surge Tankian with just like bloody bags under his eyes. What's this? Yeah. So basically, there's just been this disease going on that it's either turning people into ghouls, they're killing them, or you get you know the whole vampiric treatment. My mother had a beautiful, soothing voice. There you go. Hopefully I come in clearer now since I put it on six. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. It's locked. Talk to somebody. Unfinished letter. Oh! Okay, Pembroke Hospital. Okay. Sorry, I did not write to you before, but it hurts like hell just to write these few words on bloody paper. Don't worry, Daddy will go out to the hospital as soon as the doctors fix his arm. In the meantime, if you need something, go see Mr. Chadwick at the construction site and tell him you are Harvey Fiddick's children. Uh huh. Big guy with a mustache, you help me repair. The guy with the mustache. Alright. So there's details for Harvey Fiddick. Is this the guy? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Okay, apparently I haven't yeah, talked to all the people here. I don't here. know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Your life in London. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. He's healthy and I got two hints on him. Okay. 
Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Are you satisfied with your treatment? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. All right. Harvey will not be able to feed his family as long as his arm's still injured. Harvey is blaming himself for the injury. And there's something else. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. <clears throat> she went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Ouch. Big old boom. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Sounds like Betty from uh, Total Recall. I got five kids to feed. You seem worried about the safety of your family. And it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother? If I may ask. She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Tell me more about the death of your wife. Yes. Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. All right. For your children, though. How are your children? after losing their mother. They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's all talking to you. <laughs> Who admitted Patrick to this hospital? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um... 1,000 XP to suck this dude dry. <laughs> Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Let you down, my boy. Doctor. Knowledge is essentially power. The more you get to know somebody, right? The more you, you just get, I guess. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Life in London. Let's see. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering okay. you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. All right. Uh, Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. 
And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Okay, she charged you. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. <laughs> Are you that rich, Are you really that rich? <clears throat> Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. All right. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. What about this asshole? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. All right. How painful <clears throat> is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How painful. So pa I'll let you get some rest. All right. Don't waste your time with me. What can I do for you, Doctor? Thank you, Nurse Crane. All right. Originally, I was trying to find something or someone. Are we on the second floor? Sodium, hypocrite, take my little desk. Let's see, second floor, shall we? Cycle stuff. All right. The flower's dying. It needs water. Strickland's project could be dangerous. 
I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. All right, so now that I'm here, did that. Choose what to do about Thoreau Strickland. Bring the medication to Thoreau. Report Thoreau to Dr. Ackroyd. Hold on. Who's... Who again? Um... Let me just give it to Strickland, because Dr. Ackroyd, it's the only, it's the only Ackroyd that's a massive douche, so we're not going to give him that. Bring it back to Thero. Get away from me. We only have fun doctors at this hospital. Um, right. The hospital itself is like its own map, its own like section, thick ass section of a level. Oh, over here. So, to this. My man Thoreau. Being oh so Thoreau. Who's this? That's not, no. No! It's locked, alright. You always knew the words to calm the children. I can't talk to Strickland now? This is exactly where he was. Ooh, y'all had a private conversation. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. All right. Ba -ba boom um, Not a bad game, right? No, Va Vampire is pretty. It's pretty good. Um, a definite deep narrative in this game. I'm just hoping that the deep narrative, narration, and all these like combos don't really suck out the gameplay fact, like the fun factor for the game, you know what I mean? I can't speak for, you know, other people, but me and myself, I, I know that it's kind of, it's kind of slow paced because you got to like build up information and stuff. So in this game, can you go around sucking people's blood off or does it have consequences? Um, no, you can, you can absolutely do that. Um, what is it? You can, you have basically this map of people, right? So let's say within this district, because we know a lot more people here. Uh, first person that I met was this guy, Clay Cox, right? Now, once you get to know a fella, you get to know the his, you know, the story and the social circle of their relationships and all this other stuff. Um, and you can get XP from sucking their neck off, get some it's some XP, like, like, let's say this guy, Harvey Fiddick. If I were to do it to Harvey Fiddick, I've, I've figured out enough stuff about him, his social circle, and the hints that are taken to increase the blood quality. Apparently you get more, you get better quality once you get to know a guy. You just get to know a guy that just suck him to death. <laughs> you know, um, and yeah, that's how you get more XP to get more... Uh, power ups, and you power up. You power up by sleeping on a bed, but the power ups are pretty nice as far as that goes. Um, 
I don't know what kind of playthrough I'm going to do here, but I have, as so long as I get to uh, administer these hints, you know what I mean? Yeah, phrasing. As long as I get to administer these hints um, to people, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, let me just, you know, get to know people and then suck them, you know what I mean? Because that's how they do it in all times. I'm not sure if... It's just the vampire thing, or <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, uh, Focus Interactive. Um, was the, the, the same people that did this game are the same people that did the most recent Call of Cthulhu game. But that one's in uh, first person, it's not the Sunken City or something. That's third person that's coming out, so, but yeah. Two completely different games, and um, I don't know, I, I would play the Call of Cthulhu. I would do that. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. You talking mad shit, huh? I like it. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Sucking the random peeps. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you can, you can have a whole playthrough to where these hints are just, like, seasonings for the food that you'll eat. <laughs> That's it. Um, right. Alright, so let me... Put the medication in the doctor's office. Right, I gotta go upstairs. Um, but yeah, I can see why this game would just be really short. Um, just because it's not really. I mean, there, there are things that you can do with a zombie, yeah, a zombie vampire game, but it's practically been done by now. You know what I mean? Like the cl the classic trope of I I have a problem where I suck neck for blood, but I'm also a doctor and I have to deal with the same blood I want to suck on. You know what I mean? Like, weird to me. Not my office, but I'll take the bullets. Hey. It's locked, all right. Why couldn't I use my vampire powers to lockpick? You know? That would have been alright. Take these shillings, though. Letter to Dr. Swansea. Dear Dr. Swansea, despite the actual urgency of the sanitary situation, I must inform you of a recent case of professional misconduct inside the Pembroke. Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan has been found guilty of undeniable, unprofessional conduct and thus guilty of endangering a patient. Under those circumstances, should a nurse diagnose and establish a prescription without at least informing the referent doctor about her conclusion. You know me, Edgar. I'm not against personal initiative when it is for the interest of all, especially during a crisis like the one we are facing, but we can't allow a nurse to perform a diagnosis and decide on a procedure to apply to a patient. The fact that said patient survived is no attenuating circumstance. It just means we dodged the bullet this time. I demand the strictest authority on this matter. Very respectfully, Agrod. All right. Goswick's medical file. Mortimer Goswick. Ooh, this this will help. Alright, the patient shows many signs of extreme fatigue and major sores on the throat, mouth, and tongue, but no sign of flu. Refuses to speak, claims it is too painful, needs rest and healing of throat music mucus membrane before any decision can be made concerning his release. Okay. Got something on you, baby it's boy. Locked. It's locked, alright. 
At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. It's locked. Well, I guess that's it. Maybe if they were to do like a like a Ocean's Eleven, but with vampires, that'd be nice. All right. Um, I took care of that. Let's track. Let's find this this beautiful black man's wallet. Bring the wallet back to its owner. If I knew where he was. Thought I was tracking. I thought I couldn't get lost. Needs it. Right. Please spare me. I cannot enter. Are they like doing roleplay right now? Right. Okay. Can you have powers and stuff? Oh yeah. Um, hold on, let me see if So you have your actives and your ult and so you have four actives and then ultimate. Um, what is it? Some of these will use blood, and you need blood. You need blood for a certain power. So you have you have physical, you have shadow, and then you have blood. Um, shadow does some pretty cool shit. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, and I I still think that these will cost you. These will cost you blood when you use them. Unless I'm thinking it's just, yeah, these are costly blood wounds. So uh, to get blood back, um, I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and get uh, files, or you can um, in in battle um, knock a person down with an offhand weapon or something. Like, well, I have this revolver, but I can use yeah this melee weapon, the stake. I can use it to go ahead and like knock somebody down, suck their neck, get some more blood. The blood is can be used to. Um, Increase my life points as well. And yep. <laughs> uh, but the powers are, are pretty nice. He has like yeet powers too. Just like yeet across from room to room. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. I have to go now. <laughs> It's a wallet, rightful owner. Where is this man? I need to know. Milton Hooks. Ambulance driver. I just need to find this man. Milton. Ambulance driver. Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry you ended up on my plane and called medical bench, sir. I understand you must be very angry about this unfair It's situation. locked, all right. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same grave as your wife. I hope that might help. Right, this guy just talks to the dead because he's comfy with his life. Crumpled letter. Dear love, I finally found the missing money for the fee. Asked, for the, uh, asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing now except getting better, for I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors, and they told me that this Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry I refused to pay first, and I realize now that the important thing is that you get better soon. The Pembroke Hospital is a good place, I heard. Despite the bad behavior of this Milton Hooks, I promise that everything is okay now. I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as possible. With fondest love, Nicolet. Nicolet. Milton Hooks. So I haven't found the guy. 
Shillings. Just picking off a of dead body. Uh, is there a hunger meter? No. That would have made the game all the more interesting. Like, you gotta keep your blood up at all times. But apparently this... Since he's a doctor, he must have... He must have did something off screen because he's not getting any kind of like crazy withdrawals or anything like, oh, I need it now. You know what I mean? It's not exactly forced in a way. I feel like it definitely would have added to the game if it was. <laughs> this game got dark. Did. See, I don't know what's up here right now. 